Hey there, today we'll be running some Helm's Deep duo slash solo. Uh, I'm here with Raximus, who is a burglar. And, well, yeah, um, we'll start out with uh, Helm's Dyke. We did Deep in Combe already, so now we're going to do Helm's Dyke. I did not know which quests I'm going to get, which side quests. Um, but I can uh, put it in the description below. Below the video, I'll put the side quest, so you can just check there. Um, while doing Helm's Dyke, the most important thing of all is preparation. So all you need to do is just build, 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 build. Don't need anything else. So I'm just going to pick up these three items. Oh yeah, you also need to uh, buff the commanders up and put them at the right settings. So that's why you'll... Well, either you'll need one commander and one um, engineer. Or you can get... Uh, or you can get both engineer and commander. Uh, what that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know what Raximus is doing right now. So the best way to put the barricades is this way. It seems like it's not really gonna stop them, but well, they're going to walk up here and they're going to all run through the barricade that way. And then I'm going to upgrade on damage, which will make it. Um, damage them longer because they they walk through it longer. Then we'll just be dismantling all other barricades and spreading them out. This is maybe a boring part to watch but if you have doubts about the preparation you can just uh, watch this and, and I hope this may help you out. If you don't just skip a bit through so you get to, to the fighting. You can also leave a bit of space behind that's better than put them together like this. In the meanwhile, make sure the commanders are all on two-handed, and then actually, if they're all set, you don't even have to watch the wall anymore, except for the side quest, because it's going to be that easy. Also, I would suggest keeping one barricade at hand to use, um, well, dep it's dependent on which side quest you'll get, uh, but you can use it whenever you need to, because you're never really sure what side quest you're gonna get. Well, I'm not. There are some ways to know, like which side you start from uh, determines the first and second side quest but the third side quest is always random so you'll always be a bit surprised you can't fully prepare then for the final quest it is possible that you get the war machine uh, what is the side quest called let's see the side quest is called Yeah, Flames at the Gate or the Statue of Helm Hammerhand. And if we get Flames at the Gate, we'll need to fire catapults on a war machine that will appear right here. Well, it will come in from the road, but it will try to destroy the gates, which we cannot allow. 
and we'll have to destroy it as fast as possible. And the best way to do that is using catapults. Also, a lot of people say that you have to take the heavy shell, but actually the spread shell is better because it's um, three times damage, and when you're firing at this range, the the three things all hit the um, the war machine, so it's better that way. Don't need an upgrade on distance. And I'm going to make the first shot a decrease in armor, and then just always going to take the morel powder. So the most important thing is you don't talk to gambling yet, because once you talk to gambling, the instance starts, and we don't want that to happen yet before we are done with putting everything ready. So these barricades here won't be needed until the very end, so we can just dismantle them and use them for the main ent entrances. It's important to keep setting the commanders right, and once we start, we'll be well, just too strong, and nothing will be able to come through here. Absolutely nothing. Also, be careful that while you're putting everything ready, you don't past the line of bodies because then you'll get one shot at by the Urkai army I also always keep one ballista at hand because for certain side quests it can be very very helpful so I always make sure I have one for when I would need it here we got another catapult that we can use you can only set the instance up this way if you're in solo duo because if you run the six man six man you don't have any preparation time so if you are in that instance you'll need some people to defend and I'd say two or three people building up in the meanwhile so that when you are near the end of the instance you'll always have the side quests put up before they pop I guess we're done with this side. I don't think there's anything out here if you're two manning. If you are doing the six man, you'll need to head over there and pull all kinds of stuff ready. But in this case, you won't have to do that because in the two men you've got only two ways to, to protect
and you use those barricades to put near the stables because if you get the stable instance or you get powder at the gate two different quests but they'll all be coming in from this road so you can just uh, and also across the river but if you put some barricades right here it's useful for both side quests so that's exactly what I'm gonna do I also know that there's another ballista up there so I'm gonna put one ballista ready near these guys and also gonna set the commander to two-handed with a focus on sappers because, because when you're running the powder at the gate quest you'll need to get down get the sappers down first to avoid them placing um, those powder boxes almost ready to go There we go, that should be useful. Okay, now we'll be heading up the ladder. Oh, I didn't know you could kick him. In any case, um, then we'll just be taking the rope. and put up the second catapult right here also for the war machine that I explained earlier and then well if you got enough time it's it's all easy to um, to get platinum actually it's all about taking your time to set it up There we go. That catapult is ready. Let's see, we got one more small ballista. That's the one I'm going to take with me.
Uh, I'm going to check what that catapult is. No idea why he, he put it up here. Uh, so I'm just going to disable it and move it to the gate as a third catapult. This should definitely be able to destroy the war machine in instance. We won't even need someone down the gate with this kind of gear. Gonna use this catapult for the first shot, that one for the second, and then I'm gonna use that catapult. So this one can be aimed a bit further, because it's going to be the first shot. There we go. That should do it. Then Raximus set uh, the whole other side ready, so I'm going to talk to you. Gambling, because we're, we're good to go. If I remember collect correctly, yeah. Save this barricade for my inventory. There we go. This is gonna be this site first. I don't really remember what site this is gonna be. I think it's gonna be the sable first. But it's different what when you're running fellowship or you're running solo. Yeah, pretty sure it's gonna be protect the horses. Could be powder at the gate as well. But we'll see what's it gonna be. Well we're prepared enough for me to leave once in a while. So I'm just gonna put my barricade ready already um, to make sure, especially the horses quest is very hard so we'll need a bit of preparation for that because the horses quest starts so soon that you'll actually need someone to stay down here just to make sure that if you get horses that you're ready for it because the ads will spawn so fast that you'll really need to already be here to still get platinum so that's a bit of the difficulty here. If you got a healer that's a bit different because he can heal 
the wall steeds. Thing you really can do is press this here. It's it's a trick. I don't I have no idea why Turbine did it. But it seems like a good thing to release the horses and let them go back to Hornburg. But if you do that, the quest will fail because you didn't protect the horse enough. So don't do that. <laughs> Just uh, make sure that you keep all horses here and in good health. Aim the ballista right at those um, those barricades. Gonna keep putting some traps in as well. I think that's perfect. Yep, that's right where I want it. So now it's just a bit of waiting until we get well one quest. We don't know which one it's gonna be yet. Powder at the gate is the easier one. But it's for both quests it's the same thing. If you get horses yeah, we got horses. Okay, you'll just need to kill everything, and if you get the powder at the gate quest, you'll need to kill um, the sappers first, but you'll need to kill everything as well. As you can see, without anyone here and without setup, it's impossible to, to be here in time without getting the horses seriously injured. Also gonna put the commander on two handed. And use a lot of AoE. doing good so far just hoping that he knows about not releasing the horses as well because it's happened many times to me that um, some people that I was running with just released them and they are just fighting here for nothing but I think he knows Once you've got the first attacks on the control, it's it's a rather easy one. But the the hard part is getting those first attacks. Doing perfect so far, I think. There we go. Good job. Pack those. 
<laughs> I think it's it's quite new to the big battles because we've ran three already and we've always got a full plan and he's always going crazy with excitement when we get a platinum reward so it's nice to to have him uh, so the next one we'll be switching to the west side now Let's see what the next quest I think it's not the stone obstruction but the other one um, perhaps powder powder at the gate or guarding the watchtower I think it's powder at the gate but I'm not sure so I'm just gonna keep everything with me and put the ballistas down there because otherwise we won't need them I'll uh, maybe I'll put some some of um, the Helm's Dyke runs up some other ones where I'll get the other side quests, but I don't really know whether I'm gonna do that yet. Uh, could be that I I um, film the other side quests apart from the video and just make videos about the side quests, but don't know about that yet. So. Uh, for now, you'll just have to do it with this video. I hope it, it may help you out. Because I remember when I started out with big battles, I was it was so hard to get what it was all about. And I got soldiers defeated, banners burned, but once you know how to do everything, it's it's rather easy. Also gonna check in how Raximus prepared the other side. As you can see, uh, if you prepare well, you only need one person defending the wall because it, it's just well, you got all those barricades and nothing gets past that in combination with the commander set on two hand. So you're you're basically safe on the soldiers, commanders, and banners. Should be good. Let's see if he took the barricade there. Yeah, he did. No, he did not. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna set one up already. Right here, because that's where I'll where my arrows will be, approximately. If we get this one, that's that's a big question, of course. Do we get powder at the gate, or do we get the watchtowers? Because this, these quests are still determined on this on which side you get. So if you get the same sides as me, you'll get the same side quests. And the other way around, if you fail uh, one or more side quests but not the last one because the last one is random you can just restart it and if you get the other side first uh, you're still good to to get platinum uh, because it's daily and you can't rerun quest you already completed so if you quit the instance before you finish the main quest you can just start over from the other side okay I'm gonna check on the Preparations that Raxim has made. Didn't put them on two hand. Not that big of a deal. Um, well, actually, it is. It's important that they are. So I hope this is the only one, but I'm not sure. Seems like. Yeah, okay, he did arm those barricades. Yeah, apparently. Um, that's my bad, maybe a bit. Apparently, this is the best way to put them um, to get all the ads. Just gonna have to wait to be able to arm him again. I 
from two hand. Let's see what you got here. That should do as well. That's the most important thing that you just get the commands right. There we go. I'm gonna fire a few shots uh, while I'm on cooldown anyway. There we go. Oh, it seems like you did it here. That's good. Awesome. Well, I think we're ready for the side quest to pop then. In the meanwhile, I can just have some fun firing the ballista. I always fire it only at one side, because if you do it at two sides, the side quests will, will pop faster. So this is just if we get this side thinned out a bit you can focus on one side should have probably chosen the other side to thin out because it's further from the center but, but still it's also just fun to do The side quest with the horses is the hardest one um, together with the flames at the gate quest, so should be easy. Yep, it's watchtowers. Okay. So as long as you keep the tower defended, we're good. And it's a good thing that I thin thin them out a bit already. As you can see, if you if you got commanders like these. Um, if you got the barricades like this, nothing will, will, will be able to come through. And if they do, you just finish them off because they, they're all dead already. So I'm just gonna stand here. Wait for an anything to come our way just AOE all that I got soldiers barely have to do anything <laughs> Thank you. 
No, they're coming from the center now. That's fast. Probably because I interfered with the ballista a little. But it's no problem. We were set up good and it's gonna be easy. I'm not even sure whether we still have to be or maybe the soldiers can even do it without us. One wave to go. There we go. Good job. So now it's either the statue, powder at the gate, or this one. But I think it's just between statue and powder at the gate. Uh, between statue and flames at the gate, sorry. So, gonna move some. You don't need to protect the outer sides anymore. So um, you can move the barricades from the outer sides to the inner sides because you won't be getting any any attacks there. Just need to defend the center west entrance and the center east entrance. So the last side quests are random, so you don't really know what you gotta get. It doesn't depend on which side you get, you just get random. So Flames at the Gate is definitely one of them, and I think Statue is the other one. Well that's the way it is if you, if you run it 6 man. So I'm just gonna move some barricades to the Statue. Uh, Raxmus, you move some barricades near the statue of uh, of Helm Hammerhand because um, if that's the final quest, then well, some barricades could be useful. You can also put some more right here because the, the trolls will mostly be coming in from this side. So if you got a lot of barricades here, they'll be weakened very hard already. Uh, Raximus, if you if we get flames at the gate, do you know how to uh, extinguish the gate? Uh, extinguish the gate. So go down to the gate, and if it's if it gets some fire, uh, do you know how to uh, extinguish the fire? Oh yeah, okay. Um, then I'll fire the catapults and, and you'll be down at the gate if that's okay to you. Okay, so as you, you just heard, um, I'll be firing the catapults once the war machine comes and Raximus will be down there to extinguish the gate if it's necessary but I'm, I don't even think it is um, I think we're just gonna defeat that wall machine before it is able to deal any real damage but we'll see, you can better be um, sure instead of uh, having lots of doubts whether, whether you'll succeed or not Play it safe a bit. Okay. 
you can build and fight this ballista to speed up the process a little bit, but not really necessary for me. So I'll put some more trip by here. Flames at the gate. Okay, uh, Raximus, I'll need you down at the gate. I'll be firing the catapults. We'll be getting some ads in too, I think. But we're gonna try to defeat the war machine before they kill any of our archers. Also, we've got the sites where where they'll be coming from well defended, so should be able to do that. Gonna crank one more. There we go. Shot one. Shot number two. And from now on, it's this one. I think we almost almost should have it now. Yep, almost got it. Should be destroyed now. There we go. Good job. So that's how you do that. Uh, I don't. Did Did you even have to extinguish the gate? Or was it destroyed before it could do any damage? Nice. Okay, um, so as you can see, if you put up the catapults good, uh, you can, well, just finish the quests before it, it gets dangerous. Now, the only thing that's left to do is to make sure that the, the soldiers don't die. But that won't be a problem. Uh, basically, you, now you can just go grab some coffee, um, take a break, because, well, it's done. Just waiting for the instance to end now. If you're running this last quest, uh, six man, you'll get. Or you'll also get um, a war machine coming in from the center front, and also here, the center front. So west and east central. You have to defeat those as well, which is easy because you can just damage them. And I think that's it. So shouldn't be too hard to do it on the six man. We've done it countless times. Just need everyone to, to know what they need to do and if they do this instance is, is easy especially two man hit because you've got so much time to prepare for it that it's just a piece of cake when, once you start it you just have to be willing to take your time to prepare it like, like I just did with Raximus
Let's see, that, that's the last one, last group of them. She's gonna fire the ballista to speed up the process a bit. Last group is moving in as well on the other side. Ah, there we go. Okay, uh, good job. So, that's it. We'll uh, open the gift we got. We got Tom of Fate 12, nice. Uh, Okay, thanks a lot for, for watching, and I'll, I'll see you guys next time.